and we are setting up our Facebook Live right now. We are live. Good evening y muy buenas tardes a todos. Uh, welcome to the Unidos US Virtual Town Hall, Supporting Latino Children, How Expanded Child Tax Credits Benefit Your Family. Uh, my name is Janet Quintero. I'm the Director of Community and Government Affairs for United Way of Southern Nevada. And I am pleased to be here with you tonight to moderate this important conversation. Uh, and before we get started and we get to meet our amazing panelists for the night, I do have a couple of housekeeping items for you. Um, we've added simultaneous translation in Spanish for this program. So for that option, please go to the icon on the bottom of the screen and select Spanish. Um, y ahora en español hemos añadido una opción para que usted pueda escuchar todo el programa en inglés, ya que los presentadores van a estar hablando en, en inglés. Así es que es el icono que está en la izquierda a la derecha y se ve como un mundito. Um, this session will be recorded and everyone will receive an email with the link in the recording. Um, and now for the program. So the expanded child tax credit has become an invaluable resource for Latino working families. Unidos US is partnering with Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Unidos US Nevada affiliates and partner groups to inform the community how to access these credits. This town hall will also discuss the importance of making the expanded child tax credit permanent and expanded the child tax credit to include the children of ITIN holders through the next reconciliation package. So to begin our town hall, I'm very proud to introduce Unidos US President and CEO Janet Murguia, who will be sharing some opening remarks on why child tax credits are such a centerpiece of Unidos US policy priorities for Latinos. Thank you for joining us for tonight's virtual conversation, Supporting Latino Children, How Expanded Child Tax Credits Benefit Your Family. We are very pleased and honored that we have with us such a strong leader in helping improve the lives of working families in this country, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, along with a panel of tax experts and Unidos US affiliates to discuss this critically important issue for our community. Simply put, the child tax credit has historically been one of the most effective policies in reducing poverty in this country, especially for Latino children who make up 41% of kids living in poverty. The CTC, along with the EITC, the Earned Income Tax Credit, has helped to lift more than 10 million Hispanic families out of poverty since its inception. And perhaps no provision of President Biden's American Rescue Plan has had such an immediate and vital impact as the expansion of the child tax credit. The credit amount not only grew from $2,000 to as high as $3,600 per family per year, but payments are also now being distributed in advance. As a result, in just one month, one million Latino children were lifted out of poverty and the poverty rate for Hispanic families dropped by four points. The impact of the CTC is a game changer for our community, which is why we and our champions in Congress, like Senator Cortez Masto and Congressman Jimmy Gomez of California, are pushing for this expansion to be made permanent. And second, we are working to rectify an egregious and cruel wrong by the Trump administration and its anti-immigrant agenda when they excluded children without social security numbers from receiving the credit. No child in this nation, regardless of immigration status, should be deliberately made to live in poverty. We need your help to urge Congress to pass these fixes in their upcoming reconciliation package. We also need your help in getting the word out to families in your area who are eligible for the tax credit, but have yet to apply for it. Today's town hall will provide you the tools to understand the impact of the child tax credits on the Latino community, how you can access these valuable resources to help support your family and or 
families in your area and information on how to contact your member of Congress. Let's all get to work to inform our community how to access the child tax credit and to make these tax credits permanent and available to all the families who need it. Muchisimas gracias and enjoy this important conversation. Thank you so much to Janet Murguia, uh, President and CEO of Unidos US for helping us ground this conversation today and for being a Latina champion for civil rights. And speaking of champions, I'm proud to introduce our first panelist for the night, Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, thank you for joining us today for this important conversation. Um, we are gonna hand it off to you in just a few seconds. A quick reminder for everyone, um, the translation option is um, on your lower right hand corner. It looks like the little world. Um, en español una vez más, el icono para que pueda tener acceso a la traducción la noche de hoy. Es un mundito que está el lado derecho en la esquina, dice interpretación. So, Senator, welcome. Uh, can you share with us why the expanded child tax credits and payments included in the American Rescue Plan are so vital to Latino families and all Nevadans? Thank you. First of all, let me just say hello to everyone. Thank you for the panelists that are joining us and everyone out there for uh, participating. Uh, I am so excited to be able to, to join you to talk about how not only am I supporting working families in Nevada across the country, uh, but uh, we all know the Latin Latino community has been especially hard hit by this pandemic and the economic downturn that resulted from it was just devastating to all of us here in Nevada and across the country. So my goal has been to make sure all Nevadans are able to fully recover from this healthcare pandemic. And let me just say, I'm so pleased to be working with Unidos US as well as the United Way of Southern Nevada, UNLV's Boyd School of Law and the Nevada Free Taxes Coalition to help make people aware of the resources that are available to them. It is so important. Now, um, as you've heard this spring, we expanded the child tax credit uh, as part of the American Rescue Plan. Uh, the American Rescue Plan was a piece of legislation that we passed that helped get shots in arms. It extended unemployment assistance and it distributed additional stimulus payments to, to many Americans. And it also contained an important tax cut for middle-class families. Starting in mid-July, the child tax credit increased to $300 per month for children under six years of age and $250 per month for children age six to 17. For a working family with two kids, that's more than $500 a month in your pocket to help the process. The increase is going to benefit 94% of all children in Nevada. That's, that's 634,000 total, including 272,000 children whose families have never received them. So I am excited uh, that we are having this conversation today. Uh, I cannot thank you enough. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done um, to really to support so many of our families. That includes uh, making these tax credits available ch to children with I-10 holders. But th that's the importance of why we are, are doing this. Um, and I will tell you, Janet, for purposes of this child tax credit, it, it, it really improves the lives of our families and children. It, it is one of the most um, expansive areas of investment we can make that will lift 4.1 million additional children out of poverty. That includes 1.7 million children from Latino families. So we are already starting to see the impacts of it, but the importance here is to make sure that our families are aware of it and they know how that they're eligible and then how to receive it or access these funds. So thank you for uh, having this conversation today and providing this essential information to our families. Thank you, Senator Cortez Masto for those important updates and for your perspective and um, why it's important to have this town hall at 26% of US, US children are Hispanic Latino children. Um, so that's why we're bringing this information to you all today. Um, thank you for being here to, to share this and also in Spanish. So hopefully you're, um, you know, if your first language is Spanish, you're able to join us and hear all these amazing updates and how you can receive these credits. 
Uh, so before we hear more from Senator Cortez Masto, I would like to bring Dr. Francine Lipman into the conversation. Uh, Dr. Lipman is a professor at the Boyd School of Law at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. She's a member of the Nevada Tax Commission, and she is a perfect person to provide some background on the child tax credits and the impact on the Nevada economy. So welcome, Dr. Lipman. Thank you so much. And I'm delighted to be here with Senator Cortez Masto and the rest of our incredible team that are on the ground in Nevada, including Magda Lopez, who is a grad of the Boyd School of Law, now working with the Nevada Tax Commission, and Janet Quintero as well, who's working literally hand in glove with all families in Nevada, just trying to make sure that kids can be the best they can be. 100% of our future are our kids. And I remember really fondly two years ago when we actually could all be together. And I was so proud to stand on the stage with Senator Cortez Masto and to watch the faces of the kids in audience just be so inspired to see a role model who looked like them on the stage. Well, the child tax credit lifts more kids out of poverty, Latino kids, than any other program other than the earned income tax credit. But this year, because of our senators and President Biden, the child tax credit has been reformed in a way that many of us, including myself, have only dreamed of. And that is this credit is fully refundable. What that means is the most vulnerable children, the children who are suffering extreme poverty, they will get this credit. And what that has done in one month, it's shocking, but not surprising for those of us that work with these families. In one month, this credit, these dollars in bank accounts have changed lives. 25% reduction in childhood poverty. What is most tragic to me, and many of you might not know, the poorest constituent across the country in America are the youngest of us, the youngest children. And that's why Congress passed a higher child tax credit for children under, five, under six, five and under. And that is because they're most vulnerable, especially to food insecurity. But what we want to do, more importantly, no matter what Congress does, what they pass into law, and this change for 2021 that we want to make permanent, it literally will lift 40% of all kids in poverty out of poverty. That is life changing for these families. We want to make that permanent. But most importantly, we want to make sure all Nevadans that qualify. And as Senator Cortez Masto said, 94% of all kids in Nevada qualify for this. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I-10 holder children do not qualify yet. We're hoping to change that through Congress. But if you have children in your family, including where parents are I-10 holders, as long as the kids have social security numbers, you can get this. And if you haven't yet gotten it automatically deposited or mailed to your family, then you need to go to the IRS website. There's a link on that website that will help you navigate it. But perhaps more importantly, there's a brand new portal that Senator Cortez Masto advocated for in Spanish and English. And it's at www.getgetctc.org. It just was launched today, though we've been asking for it in Spanish and English. If you are a non-tax return filer, you can access your child tax credit 
by navigating this website. So please do that. Don't hesitate to reach out to get these monies into your household. Talk to your neighbors, your friends, your family. We want everyone to get this credit. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Professor Lipman. And one more time, if you didn't get to hear that, it's getctc.org um, slash ES if you want to access it in Spanish. Um, and it's also available in English, of course. And thank you, Professor Lipman, for um, just educating us and showing how important this credit is. Um, I do want to go back to Senator Cortez Masto um, because we have a lot of people listening to us today. Um, and a lot of people who might be learning about this, but might have friends, family, neighbors. Um, so Senator Cortez Masto, why is it so important for Latinos to share this val valuable information about accessing the child tax credits to their friends, family, neighbors, um, anyone who, who comes across their path? <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Well, first of all, uh, let me just put this out here. The administration has already um, dispersed checks to nearly 36 million households. Mm -hmm. And that includes 354,000 Nevadans. But here's why we're putting this information out there. Many who are eligible ha have not yet received their credits um, and they may not even know about it, but if they haven't received their credits yet it, but, and they're trying to, it may be because the IRS doesn't have up-to-date information on hand and because many families really don't realize that they're eligible. So there's a combination of things happening. We wanna make sure that every family who's eligible, is, is seeking this money, gets the money that they're entitled to uh, as a result of this child tax credit. Now, the Treasury Department is reaching out, but really the best way um, to let people in our communities know about this resource is, is to tell your friends and family. If you're on this uh, uh, um, internet uh, live uh, uh, call with us, reach out to your family members, let them know about this, encourage them to go to the IRS sites that we are talking about to see if you qualify and claim your benefits. Um, it is important that we share this information that we've learned from this event today with our friends and our families so they can uh, determine whether or not um, they can get these funds and make sure they're in the system to be uh, receiving the funds that are so essential, essential for our families and our children. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Senator Cortez Masto. Um, and now I would love to introduce our uh, third panelist for the night, um, Magda Lopez. Um, Magda is with Nevada Free Taxes Coalition. Um, the Nevada Free Taxes Coalition is one of our volunteer income tax assistance programs here in Nevada, or commonly known as VIDA. Uh, VIDA provides free tax preparation services to those who qualify. Um, she is on the ground, so we're very happy that she's able to join us today. And Magda, can you share more about what resources are available to Latinos in Las Vegas, Clark County, and throughout Nevada to help them secure these child tax credits? Yes, um, so obviously us, the Nevada Free Taxes Coalition, is one of the resources that is available for uh, constituents to receive the CTC. And also the UNIDOS US Affiliate Services of Nevada. It's another resource that uh, the constituents can um, turn to. Can you share the phone number and the website for us, just for those who are in today? Yes, our uh, phone number is 702-987-4600. Um, uh, and our website is nvfreetaxes.org. And you also have an office, right? Yes, we are located at um, Alta Drive. Um, we are open through mid-October through mid-October and um, you are still seeing people and supporting them by applying for um, preparing their taxes and receiving the child tax credit? Yes, correct. Well, thank you so much for, for that information, Magda. We'll be coming back to you and I'm sure we'll be asking you to repeat that number and website several sure. times just so people know where to go for that assistance. And you're bilingual yourself, but I know that you have several team members who are also available to support our community in not only English and Spanish, but several other languages. Um, so I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of this great resource, Nevada Free Taxes Coalition. So um, we'll be moving to the topic of um, making the child tax credits permanent for all children. 
and um, just voicing the support for for these credits. And I know Senator Cortez Masto, as, as we've said, is a huge champion for us in Congress. We're so fortunate to have her representing us here in Nevada. Uh, so Senator Cortez Masto, Congress is currently deliberating a budget reconciliation package that would build upon the child tax credit in the American Rescue Plan. Can you tell us what you're advocating for and what hope for families you have that these exp expanded child tax credits and payments don't expire at the end of the year? Yes, so I've called to extend and expand the credits for the very reasons that we're talking about so that our families uh, with the greatest need continue to receive the crucial benefit. So I am talking with my colleagues now, we are all working to see uh, how we can continue to provide this essential benefit, not just for the time period uh, within um, the uh, American Rescue Plan uh, and the expiration of it that is upcoming, uh, but to expand it um, and extend the time period for our families to receive these essential funds. And, and it goes back to when we're throwing a lot of numbers uh, at everyone, and let me just explain. What this essentially does is it, it really helps working families. It, the intent here is to help our working families with children have more money in their pockets that can help and benefit uh, our children and our working families. During this pandemic, and even before the pandemic, they were struggling just to, to keep food on the table, um, you know, have that, that good uh, working job, a dignity of work with a good livable wage. And so our goal really in mine has been, how do we help our families here in the state of Nevada? What do we need to do uh, to knock down those barriers, to give them the support and benefit they need? Uh, because uh, we have seen the struggles uh, just recently with this pandemic and even before. So my goal will be going back to Congress and taking all of your voices with me uh, to show why there is not only this benefit to all of you now, um, but that it needs to be extended and expanded for the future. Absolutely, thank you. And um, going back to Professor Lipman, um, how can people share this information um, with their families, friends in Nevada, and actually throughout the country? I know you are a tax expert. Uh, you sit on the commission. So what else can you tell our listeners today about the benefit of these credits? So what's so important and what arguably is different about the way the child tax credit is now structured is that it's being paid out monthly and it's being deposited automatically in or through checks. Hopefully you're banked. We want to make sure everybody has a bank account so that the money can go directly into bank accounts and you don't have to wait for a paper check. What's so phenomenal is these deposits are going into bank accounts on the 15th of every month. And I don't know if this was intentional, uh, Senator Cortez Masto, but I really like the fact that it goes in on the 15th of the month because so many families will get initial benefits on the first of the month. And then by the time the 15th of the month comes, they're struggling they're starting to struggle with putting food on the table. And this infusion of extra dollars is really helpful. And the demographic statistical data is actually compelling. Families are saying they're using it for food. Three million children across the country after one month were lifted out of poverty that changes their lives. These kids can then study and do better in school and then eventually get better jobs and of course then pay taxes. So it effectively pays for itself. What is so important for everyone out there, don't be intimidated that this is going through the income tax system. Even if you're not a taxpayer, you haven't filed before, this is a benefit for you. It's fully refundable. It's for all kids in Nevada. So don't think you don't count. We want all kids in our state to get this benefit. As we said, 94% of the kids, that's virtually all the kids. And the 6% who aren't getting it are very likely at the highest income levels because this does this benefit does phase out. 
starting at $400,000 and above. And so those are likely the few children across the state that don't really need this benefit, and so they're not getting it. ITIN holder children also can't access this yet. But if you're a parent with an ITIN, your children with social security numbers qualify for this. And if you're not in the tax system, you need to get in the tax system or go to the website www.getctc, so getctc.org, and sign up for this. It's not too late. It started in July, and it's paid out every month, but you can start up later in the year. And by the way, if for some reason you're just not able to navigate the system now, starting in the beginning of next year in 2022, please visit Nevada Free Taxes, go to their website, sign up to get your tax return filed, and you will get the full benefit. So even if you don't get it in advance, and we want you to get it in advance because that's gonna help you put food on the table and manage your bills throughout the year much better, you'll get it next year. And by the way, because Congress was just able to pass this kind of midway through the year and let the IRS ramp out to push this out, all of you, when you file your tax returns in early 2022, you'll get the second half of this credit. So there's more money coming for your family. I just saw this morning that because of the pandemic relief in July, not just the child tax credit, but other relief, Six million children across the country have been lifted out of poverty just in July. These benefits are critical to lift all of us out of poverty, all of us who are suffering unnecessarily. Thank you, Professor Lipman. And you touched on a very important point. Uh, families with ITIN numbers, families who might not even have ITIN numbers. So um, I'm going to um, ask Senator Cortez Masto, she's been a champion for us. Um, she knows that immigrant children, um, especially dreamers and those without social security numbers growing up in the US are disproportionately Latino. Um, and again, I know that she's been a champion with us. So Senator Cortez Masto, can you share with us your work to build support in the budget reconciliation package for the restoration of the CTC um, and other benefits for vulnerable children? Thank you. So as you've all heard, when, when um, the expansion of the child tax credit passed in the American Rescue Plan, it was a critical lifeline for children all over the country, but unfortunately uh, left out a significant number in our immigrant communities, including our undocumented children uh, who only have ITINs. Um, these children are, are dreamers who previously qualified for the child tax credit but unfortunately that the partisan Republican 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act actually eliminated their eligibility unfairly targeting some of uh, our country's uh, neediest families as well. So I have been working uh, to, uh, with my colleagues through this legislation. Now we have the opportunity um, to uh, fix this, um, to let our families know how critical it is uh, and my colleagues that we are extending this benefit, which is so vital for the very reasons that we've talked about. So we have an opportunity now as we look to expand and extend this child tax credit to make sure no one's left out. Uh, and, and so that's the work that is gonna be happening uh, as I head back to Washington and we continue the budget reconciliation process, which probably we will not finalize or at least have a vote on in the Senate um, until maybe end of September, 1st of October. But that is the work that is necessary. Too, too many of our families have been left out and, and it is important that they are included in these benefits, in the relief 
uh, for so many. Uh, I fought to include them in some of the American Rescue Plan, the direct payments that came into our families. Mm -hmm. Essential, we got some of those families taken care of and we were able to do so. This is another area where we have to put our families back in so that they get the, the, the child tax credit as well. Thank you, Senator. So we're, we're celebrating um, the child tax credit expansion, but um, there's, there's um, a lot of room to grow, I think is what I hear. And we're here to support you. And we thank you again for being our champion. Um, and I wanna ask Magda Lopez, who is on the ground, um, what are these questions on the, on the subject of item numbers, immigration status? What questions are you hearing from Latinos who, who go to you for support preparing their tax? Yes, thank you. Uh, one of the questions that we hear often is, uh, what if I haven't filed my tax return? Well, if you haven't filed your tax return um, in 2020, um, you don't need to. The IRS will use your 2019 tax return to determine the amount. Um, if you need, if you didn't file in any of the two years, then you can uh, contact us. Um, we are located, uh, our main office is located at uh, 5013 Alta Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. Um, you can also give us a call at 702-987-4625 or uh, visit our website to schedule your appointment at nvfreetaxes.org. Um, another question that we receive is, uh, should I opt out of the, receiving the monthly payments? Um, well, it depends. If your family or life situation is expected to change in 2021, and uh, it will result in receiving excess advanced child tax payments, then you should consider uh, opting out uh, if that applies to you. Thank you, Magda. And Professor Lemon, do you have anything else to add to that question about families who might be expecting a change or how to ease some of those concerns? Absolutely. So it is so important for all families to file tax returns for 2020 and eventually for 2021. And it's not just about the child tax credit. It's also about economic impact payments. If you didn't receive all of your economic impact payments, when you file your tax return, you'll get the balance. And many um, mixed immigration status families, because Congress passed, at, you know, everything was happening so quickly. Congress was trying to respond to pandemic economic needs. And as these economic impact payments were coming out, as you know, there were three of them. Each time the good news is members of Congress uh, became more educated about what was needed in the field. And fortunately, advocates like Senator Cortez Masto were pushing to get mixed immigration uh, status families these monies. And the good news is the $1,400 that came in early 2021, that went to individuals. You needed a social security number, but if your parents did not have a social security number, the children still got the benefit. And so the economic impact payments became more inclusive as they went along. So please definitely consider visiting Nevada Free Taxes. This is a wonderful resource and it's free. In addition to preparing tax returns during tax season, we're really fortunate that they're open all year round, they do shut down in mid-October. And the reason they do that is to get ready for the next tax season. Tax seasons are lasting longer and longer, but make an appointment. September is a perfect time to get your tax returns done and get that money in your bank account. And then you'll be on the IRS's radar and make sure you provide bank account information, because then you'll get your monies much more quickly. In addition, if for some reason your bank account information or your address has changed, 
you can go to the IRS website and they have a portal that will allow you to change that information. So please keep that up to date so you can get your monies as quickly as possible. Thank you, Professor Lippman. And a follow-up question there. I know you spoke about the benefit to children, but what are the long-term benefits of the child tax credit for our families? Well, what's also interesting about the child tax credit, Congress did such Herculean efforts with these changes. Not only are they being paid monthly, when you look at the demographic data, it's kind of shocking, but perhaps not surprising to many of you that very few families, less than the majority of families can afford an unexpected $400 expense. Now we all know how that can happen. A refrigerator goes out, a car needs a repair, or a child uh, needs some medical treatment. So you need to have monies coming into your uh, family uh, FISC on a regular basis. And this child tax credit, it is just enough to make sure families don't go into debt. As we all know, some of the uh, quick money resources, and unfortunately in Nevada, we have too many families that do end up accessing payday lenders or car title loans. These are very expensive ways to get through that $400 uh, unexpected expense. But with the child tax credit monies coming into your bank account, you can navigate it more readily. The empirical evidence is compelling when we look at the earned income tax credit and the child tax credit. Scholars, including research economists at the IRS, have said that these outlays, federal outlays of, of monies, more than pay for themselves through children doing better in school. Moms having babies that have higher birth rates. Moms and other members of the household being less food insecure and having better health outcomes. Kids graduating from high school, going to college, getting better jobs. And when they get better jobs, they then have pay more in taxes. Not only is this money great for the households, Janet, but it's even better for the local communities because what we're seeing is when these monies come into the bank accounts, what do parents do? What do they have to do? They spend it and they spend it locally. And we're seeing a multiplier effect on these dollars in, in uh, economically challenged communities. People are spending it and that can actually in and of itself create jobs. So it not only helps the kids, it helps the household. We're even seeing health data that moms and other members of the households are less likely to abuse substances, to experience stress. And so the health and welfare, not only of the kids, but the household and the entire community is elevated. Thank you, Professor Lippman. And Senator Cortez Masto, Magda Lopez, um, one more time for sharing this information. Um, it's very important that we come together to educate and raise awareness about these benefits, uh, especially to all the Latino families um, that can value or access this valuable resource. Um, so I'll remind you one more time, if you're just tuning in or joining us, that there is a translation option on the bottom um, right-hand corner. It's a little world, and you'll see um, interpretation. You can select Spanish. Uh, les recordaré una vez más que si se acaban de sintonizar, hay una opción para que escuche toda esta plática en español. Um, el símbolo de interpretación es un mundito que se encuentra debajo a la derecha, y puedes seleccionar español. Um, Magda, my next question is for you. I'm hearing about um, 
all of Professor Lippmann's examples of how these credits benefit families. Um, you know, it might be a medical um, emergency, the fridge went out. Um, what stories are you hearing since you're preparing taxes on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, yes, we hear uh, families that uh, just mention the exact same examples that she is uh, bringing, you know, um, people um, saying that their child got sick and uh, they were able to afford the treatment. Um, things like uh, paying a tutor for the mm -hmm. child that's uh, falling behind in school, you mm -hmm. know, these uh, things that help the child um, be better in, in school. So it's pretty positive. Yeah, anything from back to school supplies to maybe, you know, getting new shoes, whatever they need to, um, yeah. you know, go to school or, or pay for that medical emergency. Um, so thank you. Thank exactly. You. Um, my next question is uh, for Senator Cortez Masto. Um, why is it so important for Latinos to have their representatives in Washington hear about their support for the CTC um, and that it should cover all ch children? Sure. First, let me just say what, what you're hearing here. This is our intent with this child tax credit and the earned income tax credit. Um, as Dr. Lippman has just said, as Magda has indicated, this is the largest and really the biggest investment we have made in our families in decades because our focus was on our families who were struggling, not only because of the pandemic, but even before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But we know during this pandemic that we were so hard hit, look, our, our travel and tourism industry literally mm -hmm. shut down, it just shut down, our economy shut down. And so our, our families clearly needed help and relief just to get through this pandemic as we asked everybody to shelter in place. As we start to open our doors again and we beat this pandemic and we get the vaccines and please, please get educated about the vaccines. It's the only way we're gonna keep our economy open if we get people vaccinated. But this was our intent is to continue to make these big investments in our families. It's time that our families really get the benefit of, um, of these major investments for our kids, for their future. What, what better investment than our families and our kids in their future? for the very reasons that we've just been talking about. And so it is important to hear from uh, Latinos in our community, hear your stories. I take your stories and uh, back with me to Washington to explain why this is so important and why we need to continue to expand it and extend it and why we need to include so many more of our families in this benefit for the very reasons we are just talking about. It is good for our families. It's good for our children. It's good for the economy. It lifts everybody up. And that's what this is about. These are big investments we are making. We need to get this right, but it should be focused on our families. So your stories are the stories that I carry with me to Washington uh, every time I go back there. And it is important that we hear from you. So I am so grateful for everybody on this panel. Janet, you are doing a great job moderating. And for everybody who's joining us, please share this information with your friends and your families. Uh, ask questions. Don't hesitate to reach out to anyone here or contact the, the websites that they've been talking about. It is important that you have the information. Um, it, you know, you deserve it. You deserve relief. This is what it's here for. Uh, I want to make sure you're able to obtain it. Thank you for that, Senator Cortez Masto. Uh, Professor Lipman, um, anything in case anyone is just joining us, um, do you do you want to share? Because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Magda next for um, another round of Nevada Free Taxes Coalition um, contact information. But can you just share with everyone why it's so important that they access the child tax credits that? Um, Congress, including Senator Cortez Masto, fought so hard for? Well, it, it's really hard to believe that in America, one of the wealthiest countries on our globe, that children are suffering poverty, including extreme poverty. Children shouldn't go hungry. Children shouldn't worry about going to school and not knowing when they come home, if they're going to have a home, our children are the most important thing. They're 100% of our future and we need them to be the best they can be. 
the empirical evidence is horrific. When we look at children suffering poverty, what it actually does is creates cortisol in their brain that is the equivalent of experiencing a stroke. Children shouldn't experience stress. These are innocent little individuals who we want to just tiptoe through the tulips, right? We want them to soar. And so in America, we have just demonstrated by Congress showing us we can fix childhood poverty. And it's not that huge of an amount of money. The maximum child tax credit for the year is $3,600. That's $300 a month that is making a difference in a kid's life. My goodness, if we can't do that, what can we do? We need to make this permanent and we need to make sure everyone gets this. So you need Nevadans, come on, Nevadans, we're a battleground state. We can do anything. I know we can, I've seen it through this pandemic. We're really good neighbors to each other. So let's lift each other up. If there's someone out there who's down and out, you ask them, hey, did you get your child tax credit? I ask all my students, did you get your child tax credit? Because we want, this is money that Congress has passed into law and they've appropriated it. So we want Nevada to get every single penny because it's going to exponentially benefit all of us. So make sure you do your part. As Senator Cortez Masto said, vaccines and arms, child tax credit and bank account. We want to make sure everybody gets this because it's going to make all of us stronger and better. Make sure you get your monies in your account and ask somebody who maybe has and who doesn't know about it, especially the most vulnerable. We want to make sure, so this is for homeless families as well. Families who are so down and out that this can mean the difference. And what's really wonderful about paying this advanced child tax credit separately is that it has salience, it has visibility. So I've heard many parents say, oh, I'm going to use that money, as Magda said, for a tutor or for a special camp or for something special for the kids so that they can excel. So the salience of separating it from the other tax benefits is really brilliant. And I applaud members of Congress. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, Professor Lipman. And you're inspiring me to ask um, you know, everyone, do you know about the child tax credit? And we encourage you all to do the same, um, to ask your neighbors, your family, if they have applied for the child tax credit. Um, so Magda, I'm gonna ask you to repeat the information for the Nevada Free Taxes Coalition uh, one more time and share uh, with everyone listening to us today and even watching the recording, how they can access this great resource. Thank you, Janet. Uh, yes, uh, you can give us a call at 702-987-4625. Uh, visit our website at nvfreetaxes.org or uh, visit our office. It's located at 5013 Alta Drive, Las Vegas. Thank you, Magda. And my last question of the night is for Senator Cortez Masto. Um, how can our community, everyone listening today, voice their support? I know you shared how important it is that we voice the support, but how can they reach you? How can they reach your office? How can we make it known that uh, we want the child tax credit to uh, be here and benefit uh, all of us? Absolutely. Please, and, and I'm great, you, grateful that you said that. For any questions, if you have any, reach out to my office, both uh, we have uh, bilingual um, uh, folks that are there working on your behalf to speak with you, both English, Spanish. Um, if you, the website is cortezmasto.senate.gov. Go on there. It will identify whether it's over the web or the contact information by phone. You can reach out whether you're in uh, Las Vegas, Northern Nevada, Southern Nevada, Reno, wherever. 
uh, please uh, reach out. Uh, that, that's really, I, I cannot stress that enough. We're here to serve you. We're here to provide this information. The worst possible thing is I'm in Washington fighting for these dollars and they don't get to you. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure you understand they are for you and, we, and how to access these funds. So everybody in this panel, everybody here will help you and then reach out to my office. We've got uh, folks answering the phones as well uh, that will provide uh, essential information. Thank you, Senator Cortez Masto. Um, unfortunately, we've come to the end of this conversation, um, but before we log off, um, I'm going to leave you with some suggestions how, how you can continue to be involved to add to the list of everything that our panelists have shared today. Uh, first of all, contact 702-987-4625 to get in touch with the Nevada Free Taxes Coalition and learn if you're eligible for the child tax credit and how to apply. Um, also, stay informed by following at We Are Unidos US on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, <laughs> call on your member of Congress to ensure the expanded child tax credit becomes permanent and includes all children. Um, and Senator Cortez Masto shared um, all that great information um, on how to reach her office. Uh, thank you to our panelists, um, Janet Murguia, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Dr. Francine Lipman, Magda Lopez. Um, Unidos US would like to thank you all um, and all of the partners who have collaborated to make this town hall possible, including the office of Senator Cortez Masto, Unidos US affiliates such as Community Services of Southern Nevada, CPLC Nevada, Neighborhood Housing Services of Nevada, and the Mariposa Dual Language Academy. Um, as well as other community partners like United Way of Southern Nevada, Nevada Free Taxes Coalition, UNLV, Make the Road Nevada, and Mi Familia Vota. So a lot of Nevada on there. Um, and thank you to our media partners, La Pulga and Desde Nevada. And thank you to our audience for joining us as well. Uh, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed. And it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Buenas noches. <laughs>